Do you want to be like these guys? Pee so fast that you end up finishing the race with a negative time? Well, you're in the right place. Hey guys, it's me. You're here to find out about racing in the Star Atlas showroom. I'm going to give you 10 tips and tricks to get you on the high score leaderboard, or at least get you on the right track and get close to that leaderboard because we have some very dedicated racers out there. Now, before we start, a reminder that the showroom is still in alpha and some of this info might change. Let's get started. Number one, the track layout. You must absolutely, unequivocally, undeniably learn the track, inside and out. Practice it, goddammit. Memorize the locations of turns, going straight, where to boost, and even when to slow down or break. This is a very underrated tip because everyone wants to go fast and get the lowest time. They never think of breaking or heavily practicing the turns and twists of the track. Go slow, get your fingers and your brain in tip-top coordination. Number two, drifting. You have to know how to drift. Drifting lets you save time on corners, lines up your ship for a straight enough path and speeds up your re-entry into that new path. Drifting can be tricky, so it just takes practice. Number three, hit the targets. Don't forget to hit the targets, y'all. Each target deducts two seconds from your time. Did you also know each gate deducts five seconds from your time? When you know the track inside and out, it's time to incorporate the targets because you'll never find them far off from the gates themselves. Don't forget though, the guns do heat up, so be judicious with your shots. Number four, think outside the box. And by this, I mean experiment with different ways to run this course. Find your own style. Two examples I found is you can learn the track upside down. This is space. There is no orientation. A second one is that you don't have to start exactly at the first gate. Start very far away. Build up speed using the boost and enter the gate like a boss. If you follow tip number one, you'll know exactly where gate number two is with your top speed. Asteroids. There are too many asteroids in this mother race. Avoid the asteroids at all costs, and I really mean it. Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! These random rocks will knock multiple seconds off your route if you even look at them, let alone touch them. What's worse is that when you crash into them, it detracts from your speed as well as flings you in a random direction, and you'll have to spend time finding the next gate and reorientating yourself. Valuable seconds, all gone. I hate these damn rocks. Number six, ego. Don't be that guy who doesn't read the instructions or the flight controls. We do this all the time. I don't need to read the manual. I can put this furniture together myself. The Star Atlas team themselves published an awesome video on the flight controls. Be sure to watch that as a starting point. The link is in the description. Number seven, boosting. The boost function is critical. You shouldn't be using it all the time. Not because of the timer, but because it's more efficient in certain areas. If you know a straight path is coming up, better save it or at least have it cooled down and ready to go. Number eight, recalibration. Don't forget to calibrate your bike and get accustomed to the new speed or firepower you've selected. This can be seen in the user interface on the bottom right hand corner of the triangle. Use the numbers 1, 2 and 3 to allocate a percentage of your engine power to either your shields, your speed or your weapons. Of course in a flat out race, the shields don't really have any bearing, at this time anyway. Number 9. Save time. There is only so much time you can put into racing. Life is short, am I right? Would it be more efficient to watch a pro racer who has an established track record and copy his style? Play his video on a lower speed, run the track side by side with him, and once you feel confident, turn his video off. Constantly increase your speed and follow tip number one, practicing the layout. My final tip guys is number 10. Guys, you don't have to be first. It's about the journey rather than the destination. Did you enjoy racing? Did you enjoy mapping out your routes or getting to know the layout? Are you having fun? Because remember, this is a game. If you're not having fun, it's probably time to turn it off. All right, my friends, and that's 10 small tips and tricks to get you started in the Star Atlas racing module. What's your best time? I really wanna know. It's probably better than me, let's be honest here. 
questions? Post it in the comment section. Did you like the video? Make sure you give me a like and a subscribe. Did you love it? Donate Atlas to my ARC fund if you loved it. This is my wallet. See you in the metaverse.